So to create a green screen effect with my video, uh, I need to first start off with the picture itself that I want uh, to put somebody in front of. So if I wanted to do uh, a green screen clip where I have a uh, some video footage of a person in front of a green background and I want to put that person somewhere else in the world, uh, I need to start with where in the world I want that person to be. So um, any image I find on the web, this will even work with video too, but it's a little easier with images. But I can choose that image that I want. So if I wanted to put uh, this person in front of the White House, I find a picture of the White House, I import it into iMovie, and then I add it to my timeline like so. Now I can stretch this video or this picture out to make it however long I want, uh, but I can adjust that once I know exactly how long my video clip is going to be. So I have a video clip here, and let's say I want it to start here. I'm going to hit the I key on the keyboard to mark my in and then go to another spot here and then mark that as my out so this is my clip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip and I'm going to drag it directly on top of my still image All right, I'm going to make sure that it goes all the way to the front edge of that image like so and now you can see that my video track is attached there's a little tiny tail right here that attaches it to this other clip now, obviously my green screen clip is a lot longer here than what my picture is, so I can go ahead and just click on that and stretch that out to the end of that clip so that those two things match here uh, as well. So once I have these clips both the exact same size, now I'm ready to create my green screen effect. So in order to do that, I need to first click on my green screen clip, which again will always be on the top track here. And then in my viewer in the upper right hand corner, um, I have a whole, whole bunch of little buttons to choose from here. This first one, the one with uh, two different boxes here, this is my overlay settings. And when I click on this, this will ask me what do I want to do with clips that are sitting on top of another clip. Right now it's set to cutaway. A cutaway simply jumps from one clip to the next. Um, and whatever clip is on top is the one that it shows. So that's why I'm only seeing my green screen clip and I'm not seeing the clip below it. So what I want is I want to change this to green slash blue screen. And when I simply choose it, it'll instantly make my green go away and it'll show me then whatever is underneath it. Now it does give me four little uh, handles at the corners here. Uh, these handles are different ways to adjust uh, my image. So let's say, for example, that um, I might have had a little part of my image that wasn't quite on the green screen. I can crop this image down and cut out a part that may not be uh, part of the green screen to make those uh, disappear. So these little handles allow me to adjust that. Now I can also adjust uh, what's called the softness of that. This is the how sharp the edges of my green screen are. Um, I can kind of fade or uh, make a real harsh edge, but sometimes a harsh edge doesn't look as realistic. And so normally just kind of adjusting that softness will give it a more realistic look. If I go too far, then I get into some invisibility issues, but somewhere around here is a good idea. All right, a couple other things I can do. Uh, there is an option here for an eraser. If there are certain things or certain parts of my clip that did not um, get erased with a blue screen or green screen, I can use this eraser and just simply drag or circle across certain things and it'll make those things go away. So if I have parts of my green screen that didn't disappear uh, where you still see green, I can use this eraser tool and erase those green parts to clean up my green screen um, if I want to. Once I've got that clip done, I've added it, now I can go through and watch it. And everything looks good. Now the only slight problem I have here, and it's kind of hard to tell unless I go really quickly through my clip, is technically my background, because it's just a regular still image, it automatically added a Ken Burns effect to it. Um, I want to turn that off. Again, I just click on that still image, click on my crop tool up here, and I can either do a crop to fill, which fits the screen, or just a fit. In this case, I'll do a crop to fill. 
and now my background image won't move, uh, which will help make it look a little more realistic. Another option with the green screen, once I have a green screen clip, if I go back to that video overlay setting, if let's say my person is going to be uh, standing somewhere that is going to be behind something, uh, you can use these same kind of crop tools to move them or make it appear like that that person is standing behind something else. So in this case, if I wanted it to make it look like uh, that this wall was maybe in front of him, I can click on a clip, again, go to my overlay and adjust these handles until it looks like the bottom of his clip is cropped off, which makes it look like he is standing behind that wall uh, as he's talking, uh, which again also sometimes helps to make your green screen look a little more realistic. So that's how you add green screen to iMovie.